All right, so today I'm doing a cook for one of you guys. One of my viewers reached out and said, hey, Dogfather, I'd like to see you do something with boudin. You know, take it out of the casing and stuff it into something. So, you know, I did the cooking for cancer and we did the shrimp and grits with the boudin gravy, but I figured that wasn't enough. We got to do something else. Y'all my dog pal, so if you ask me for something, I got to give it to you, right? So today we are doing a porterhouse pork chop that's stuffed with boudin. Y'all with it? Let's get it. Alright guys, so this is how we're going to get this dish started today. I've got a couple of pork chops here. Uh, these are those... Uh, Duroc pork chops from Matador Prime Steak. And these are awesome looking chops, guys. Okay, guys, so we got these pork chops from Matador Prime Steak. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut a pocket in it so that we can stuff it with some boudin. So basically, this is what we got, guys. We're just gonna cut a little pocket right there, just like that, okay? So I'm gonna get this other uh, pork chop done here. Okay, guys, so we have these pork chops where we just basically went ahead and cut a pocket into them. That's where we're gonna go ahead and stuff them. So once we got this pocket cut into these pork chops, we're ready to move on to our next step, guys. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna season this thing up with a little bit of a Creole kick uh, from, uh, you know, Sweet Smoky Joe's. So this stuff is really good. It's got a good salt content to it. It's got a, a good little kick to it, a little heat. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit right inside there. Not a whole lot, but you know, just a little bit. And we'll sprinkle some in each one of these guys. Just help us get a little flavor inside the meat as well as on the outside as we go along. Okay, so there, just like that, we got our pork chops. We got the pocket cut in it, we got some seasoning inside them. Now for the boudin, guys. So I got this boudin from a buddy of mine that uh, has a restaurant here called uh, Brothers Black Iron Barbecue. And I happen to know that this boudin is made by uh, Rafino Meats. Uh, really good boudin, awesome flavor on it, awesome aroma to it. And so, uh, yeah guys, that's what we're gonna do. So I've got this boudin in a bowl here and I'm just kinda breaking it up. And so that's what it's looking like here, okay? So now we got this ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and stuff these pork chops with some boudin here. So we got our pork chops and we cut the hole in them. We got them stuffed with our uh, our boudin and guys I apologize for the noise around you know neighbors cutting the grass they don't seem to understand this isn't a backyard this is a barbecue boulevard but it's all good we're gonna make it work so we uh, got these pork chops cut we got the boudin stuffed in them and now it's time for us to go ahead and get some of this, this uh, Creole kick from uh, Sweet Smoky Joe's so we're just gonna lightly season up these guys on the outside and I'm not using any any binder the meat has got to get sweat on it right now, so it's all good. So we'll put it on here and try to give it a light press. And we'll flip it over and uh, get the other side seasoned here. All right. So we now have our uh, pork chop seasoned and uh, stuffed, 
and uh, man we're gonna go ahead and let them rest here just a little bit build, build up a little bit more sweat to them and we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, the grill fired up today we're gonna use the Yoder YS640 haven't used that grill in a while so it'll be fun to go ahead and get a uh, little cook on on that so we're gonna use some post oak pellets today on the Yoder YS640 we're gonna roll it at about 275 degrees and we're gonna cook these things until they get to an internal te uh, temperature I'm gonna go for 150 I usually do my pork to about 145 but today I'm gonna go to 150 why because I'm stuffing it with boudin and I want to make sure that we get everything up to temperature like it needs to be don't want to get anybody sick on this on this cook so again we're gonna put it on the Yoder YS640 we're rolling with post oak pellets today we're going to roll the smoke at 275 and we're looking for an internal temperature of 150. So let's get the Yoda fired up, right? All right, guys, so we're at the uh, Yoder Y640 and we've hit our uh, target temperature of 275. So uh, I think it's time for us to go ahead and get these uh, porterhouse cut pork chops on the grill. So let's do this. So, just like that, we got them on the uh, Yoda Y640. I'm gonna go ahead and get this lid closed and uh, we're gonna let it smoke away. And I'm gonna see you in a second because we're gonna put together a nice little, uh, you know, little Creole kind of sauce to go with this, all right? So, y'all hang tight. Let me get this done. You know, hey, again, we're gonna do a little Creole uh, sauce with this. And, uh, you know, I gotta start with the uh, Holy Trinity, right? So, what I've got here is I've got an, uh, got an onion got the celery I've got some bell pepper and we got a little green onion that we're gonna use to uh, kind of finish this thing off so let's go ahead and get this Trinity made all right Just like that guys, we got our Holy Trinity ready to go. And uh, we're gonna get this dish put together. All right, so now that we got our Trinity ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and start getting this uh, sauce put together. So let's go ahead and sweat down this Trinity. And I'm gonna just start off with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss this Trinity in. So basically guys, we're just gonna sweat this Trinity down. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna sweat this Trinity down, get those flavors put into the oil uh, as we start to get this, this thing put together, okay? So uh, again, we got our Holy Trinity going. And the uh, base for the sauce is got actually gonna be uh, a little heavy cream, guys. So got a little heavy cream here from uh, my local HEB. And I probably went a little heavy on this uh, Trinity for the amount of sauce we're making, but hey, it's all good. So we're gonna let this sweat down here for a little bit.
Okay, now we're gonna add some uh, heavy cream into it. And we're just gonna kinda keep this uh, sauce moving around, guys. And we're gonna flavor it with our uh, Sweet Smoky Joe's again here. So we're probably gonna put in about uh, probably a tablespoon or so. Okay guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika to this as well. And I'm probably gonna add about a tablespoon. That paprika is gonna add a good little smokiness to this, but it's also gonna add a little bit of color to it. And it's kind of important here to just keep the sauce moving around because you don't want it to burn on you at all. So guys, at this point, this is when you want to taste this sauce and see if it's where you want it. If you need a little bit more salt to it, or in our case, our uh, you know our Creole kick, you add a little bit more. You know what? Uh, you just kind of adjust your flavors here. So let's give it a taste and see where we're at. It's good. It's got a good creaminess to it, but I think we're needing some more kick. So we're going to go ahead and add some more of this uh, Creole kick in. And I'm going with another tablespoon here. So we'll kind of mix that around. Started off with one tablespoon because uh, I knew that probably wouldn't be enough, but it wasn't so much that we would have gone too far. You know, you can always add salt or whatever to it, but you can't take it away. So you want to start off a little slower. And so that's what we did. So we're going to give this another taste. It's definitely coming together, guys. All right, let's give it a taste. We're there. All right. So we'll bring this back up to a little simmer here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add probably about two tablespoons more of heavy cream. And our final ingredient to this sauce, we've got some crawfish tails. So we're going to go ahead and add this in here. Just kind of mix that around guys. So these crawfish tails I got from my grocery store, uh, they are already cooked. They were just frozen in a package, uh, basically thawed them out. And then uh, we're adding them in at the very end of this sauce. I've just turned the heat completely off on this sauce. And basically the residual heat from this uh, heavy cream and everything is going to heat up these crawfish tails. So. Our sauce at this point is done. We've got everything mixed around into this sauce. Only thing left to do is just put the lid on it. We're gonna let it rest and we're gonna wait for these uh, pork chops to complete on the uh, Yoda YS640. Let's go take a look at the pork chops and see how they're coming out, all right? All right, gang, so we're at the YS640. We're gonna pop the lid, just take a look. All right, so these pork chops are uh, coming along nicely. We're gonna let them keep rolling. Uh, they've probably been on now for about 20 minutes. Uh, I'll probably flip them over here in a minute and uh, we'll check them in, all right? So y'all sit tight. I'm gonna kind of clean up some of this stuff right here and uh, I'll bring y'all back here in a minute. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get this dish plated. And uh, all I did here was I just placed some pork chop in uh, you know, my serving bowl here. And what I'm gonna do first, is we're gonna chop up a little bit of uh, green onion. 
And again, guys, I apologize for all the noise I hear, but it's like all of my neighbors decided to do their yards on the same day at the same time. Go figure. Okay. So now we got this here. So we're going to set that right here to the side right quick. And now again, we've got our pork chop here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our, uh, our sauce here. It's good looking sauce here, guys. And we're basically going to take some of this. And we're going to ladle it way over top of this pork chop. And then we're going to garnish it with our uh, green onion. And there you go, guys. There's my porterhouse cut pork chop stuffed with boudin. It's got a Creole sauce to it, so there you go.